kind of traveling shows. I think it's great. Yeah. Uh, I think it's supply and demand. You have to have a big club to have a place like that. But uh, let the women have. Well, we used to have male strippers at Visions as well, and uh, I think the women have a right to see it just like the guys. It did. didn't go over. It wasn't as popular. Uh, as it showed up. It, it was very popular, but I think we have to have a, a bigger place for it. Mm -hmm. It's just. Um, I prefer having the ladies. Sometimes we might put guys on again. In fact, we were the first ones to have male strippers in Madison. Hmm. But not a lot of volunteers. Not a lot of guys volunteered to do Oh, yes, they did. Oh, God, <laughs> we, had, we had guys crawling out of the woodwork that wanted to be strippers. Really? Oh, yeah. We had, like, Mr. Nude Truck Driver and all these sort of guys. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Mr. Nude Truck Driver? You know, I think yeah. I was next to him on the belt line yeah, last right. night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they, they loved it. <laughs> do a lot of guys drive the trucks I'm nude sure. nowadays? I don't know, or but there's, uh, there's no so shortage of male strippers. <laughs> mm. Okay. Just like there's no shortage of female strippers. Yeah. What is this pole dancing stuff that they do? <laughs> well, they have a pole down the center of a stage, and they some do sit-ups on it, some just swing around on it, and some can do anything they want on it. It's just something... It's absolutely it's, amazing. It's like a security, <laughs> security blanket. They love it. Well, they dragged me down there yeah. for my bachelor party. That's right. That's the only reason I, I know about something like that. It's a popular place yeah, for bachelor parties, obviously. Oh, it's one of our, our biggest draws. Yeah. Um, and now, now, I know you're still thinking about it, all the different props, all the different things you've seen on stage, but now we've just read a story about a teen club where they have topless dancers, or is it all nude? Uh, topless dancers, I think it's I topless dancers in... For teens, mm -hmm. where they don't serve any alcohol. Have you heard of this? No, I haven't. It's Sorry. up in Oregon somewhere, Portland, right. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. We read about it the other day. What a strange place to have the kid go right. after yeah, school. And <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. have a Pepsi and <laughs> think about it. It's different from the good old days when you used to plug a <laughs> jukebox or something <laughs> and buy a soda pop for your girlfriend. Right. Now it's stuff a G-string. Yeah. But, uh, okay, now what kind of acts have you seen? Well, I think one of the uh, funny ones was we had a fire act come in. Uh, a woman that uh, twirled uh, batons that were on fire and sort of thing, and uh, and she had us in these kind of a, a stick with fire dipped on the end, a stick in her mouth, and mm, uh, yeah. would shoot fire. But uh, every time she did this, the um, the fringe along the ceiling would catch fire. <laughs> so we had to sit there with fire extinguishers and keep you know putting it out as she was and doing God. the show. So I told her she couldn't do it. And, then <laughs> <laughs> and we've had pythons in there that have gotten away. Oh no! And uh, we, we stopped that. Did, so did you ever find the python? Yeah, yeah. We just didn't want the snake on the plane. So no live animals. No, no. Anymore. What's the toughest thing about running your club on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, what well, kind of problems do you have that normal or you know regular bars wouldn't have? Uh, the fact that we have 25 beautiful women taking their clothes off a week. 